Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. You know it's Wolf and I saw this on my on my YouTube feed. Victims of Nardwar, you know. And you know, if you know Nardwar, <laughs> he's made a career of creeping out, you know, artists. Especially I've seen a few of the hip hop artists. So I'm gonna check this out. So let's get this people. Like and subscribe to the channel, share the video. If you're new to the channel, yeah, I would appreciate that. Let's get this. From getting yelled at by rock stars in the 90s to surprising rappers with information about themselves, Nardwar has built up an impressive reputation in the music world. However, for every good interview he has, there's also plenty of bad ones. These are some of the best and worst Nardwar interviews, starting with one of the absolute worst, which was when he first interviewed the band Blur in 2003. What? Uh, would it be okay to stand over there? <laughs> <laughs> How there and ask question. The interview is incredibly tense, even from the beginning, with Dave Roundtree, the band's drummer, immediately snatching Nardwar's interview questions from his hand and throwing it, before starting to push him around and intimidate him while the other band members encourage his behavior. Dave then takes Nardwar's hat and throws it on the ground. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay. Which was incredibly disrespectful considering it was a gift from his mother who had passed away. Although the interview uh. somehow continued to get progressively worse with the band members ignoring all of the questions. Who else do you have in the group with you right here? Who is the gentleman that just took my hat? Damon, who's to your right? You know what, Daisy Bollocks? <laughs> You're happy? No, I'm not. You don't look happy. I am not. I want my hat back, please. Oh. <laughs> as Dave throws Nardwar's glasses and continues to push him around. <laughs> okay, there we go. As Nardwar tries to keep the interview going. Yo, what the heck, bro? What the heck, you know? <laughs> I, I know that Nardwar has a career of making people uncomfortable with the questions he asks because they, no one should have that information, bro. The intelligence network that this guy has is, yo, the government wants him to work for them. Okay. <laughs> and attempts to win over Dave by showing him his t-shirt of their old college, Dave grabs him and twists his arm before walking out of the room and leaving the interview altogether. Dave of Blur. Ow, oh, 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 oh. Almost immediately after, the rest of the band begins to cooperate, although still not in the friendliest tone. What is the traits of Dave that makes him got that fire in his belly? <laughs> Well, you know, he's not always like that. He's obviously uh, bringing out a certain uh, side to him, which I have to say I find uh, rather attractive. One comment pointed this what? out, saying, This is telling. As soon as Dave leaves the room, the other guys start cooperating. Dave is a bully, and the others probably don't agree with how he treats others, but they're too afraid to stand up to him. When the interview first took place, it seemed like no one cared if some journalist got bullied by a rock band. But as time went on, their actions wouldn't go unpunished. These guys okay. are really brave, picking on the friendliest and least intimidating person on the entire planet. After the video was released, more and more people saw the interview, and both the band and Dave Roundtree specifically got a lot of backlash for their behavior. Yes. Although Dave has since gone on to apologize, saying, This is definitely one of the things I'm ashamed of. There's no excuse for my bullying, and the reason I did it is perhaps nearly as sordid. To be clear, Nardwar didn't do anything to provoke me. I sent an apology to him the next day but i didn't hear anything back from him so i assume he didn't accept it nardwar yes you only apologize because the video went out and it made you look bad you know yes it doesn't mean anything if you were forced to apologize that uh, it, it's a public statement to fix your image with the public not 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 with nardwar seemed to be forgiving of him, saying, thanks to Dave Abler for this apology. I do appreciate it. But while this interview definitely went poorly, there are still plenty of good ones, with some of Lil Uzi Vert's being among the best, having produced some of the funniest reactions of Nardwar's career. Have you ever, like, Gigi Allen got naked performing? When I perform for my lady. Ba-boom! <laughs> A Rob Zombie poster. At certain times, Nardwar's information has been so mind-blowing that he calls Uzi to completely run away from the interview. <laughs> Guns Garcia. Yo, he know too much. He is. I can't do this. He is. What Kanye do? What Kanye do? <laughs> this has since become... Yo, uh, and right there, um... 
I actually enjoyed that one. I, I saw it before, and Uzi he did with he de- dealt with it in the most like like the best way he could possibly. You know, some people would like try to prove something or try to get up in Nardwar's face or uh, aggressive or stuff like that. But but I I, I respect that. You know, yeah. <laughs> It just goes to show that he a chill dude. Come a tradition with their interviews, with Uzi going on to make the same exit several times. <laughs> However, not only is Nardwar able to shock Uzi with the information he digs up, but he's also presented him with several thoughtful gifts over the years, and the two seem to have built up a genuine friendship. There was even one instance when Lil Uzi was leaving a show and Nardwar walked up to his car asking for an interview, and Uzi can be heard saying, I always have time for you, before getting out of his car to talk to him, demonstrating the deep respect he has for Nardwar before sharing a really wholesome moment with him in front of everyone. Where have you been? In fact, I've been to Canada. I haven't saw you in a long time. It's great to see you again. It's great to see you. Like, yeah, that's wholesome, man. Coming, my well, hopefully it won't be so long. You'll come up to my door, bridge to my Canada, and we'll see you again. Or you can just come to my house and have dinner. Oh, that'd be yeah. amazing. Yeah. That'd be yeah. amazing. Yeah. Uh, how do I get in touch? <laughs> I'll give you my number. You know, then I can teach you how to play Call of Duty. Ba boom! That'd be amazing. <laughs> this is something. Fam- yeah, yo, that's that's crazy for real though. Yeah, yo, if, I, yo, a lot of people do not like the, some of the stuff that Uzi does. You you're not gonna like everything uh, um someone does. You know, it's just a part of being human. I do not like some of the stuff he does too. But the dude being a chill, respectable dude. That um, people can just have a vibe with, you know. Maybe you don't like his music. Maybe you don't like some of the the the, the, the freaking weird stuff that he's been up to. But definitely, he probably just a different regular chill dude under all of that. That's just what the public see. But I'm just I just I'm just assuming, you know. Fans have picked up on saying Lil Uzi inviting him to dinner was so genuine and heartfelt, you can tell he values the people around him. With another comment echoing this, reading, I love how the hip hop community treats Nardwar like royalty, a legend of the game. Sadly, the respect Nardwar currently gets wasn't always so common, as we can clearly see with his old interview of Lydia Lunch, who couldn't be more annoyed by his interviewing style. You're right now, you're very hungry, right? Now that doesn't matter. This is the. I'm hungry for an intelligent conversation, which I've yet to find. Within just one or two questions, she was already irritated with him, and her attitude only got nah. worse as the video carried on. And I'm trying to give you a chance to get back at those homeboys. What is going on there? There's no reason to get back to him. It's 17 f- years ago, and that doesn't mean diddly sh- to me, friend. So you have no recollection of it, or know you're interested, and you never ever want to be brought up again. Oh, I don't give a. Sh- it's your fetish, not mine. Okay, I will adhere to your rules. When he tried to connect with her on some of the promotional posters she did. I do like that record you have where it says, I did lunch. Uh, you need to read up again. It's Lydia lunch. No, but the way you read it, you know, you, the way the poster said, it was like, I did lunch. You know that poster I'm talking about? Yeah, well, don't I, do. I, I do. You're incorrect, though. You, n- you need to go back to uh, Hieroglyphics 101. She only seemed more annoyed, claiming his information was inaccurate, despite copies of the poster still being sold today. This attitude continued throughout with every question that he asked. Why did you guys want Courtney Love's recipe for Prozac brownies? <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you want me to we kill him now or later? No, we don't, we don't. We were just we were just making a joke. Before she eventually got up and walked away as Nardwar followed, trying to finish out the interview. The comments weren't very forgiving of this. She was 37 at the time of this interview. You'd never be able to tell from the way she acted. It's so embarrassing to see two full grown women posturing like a pair of outcast teens going through a serious rebellion phase. Bruh, <laughs> I cannot believe someone told Nardwar, of all people, to do his homework. Ironically, no- What? Yo, yo, I, I didn't, I, I wasn't even, I, I, I didn't even realize. Yes, the entire time she was telling him to do his research, bro. Do you know who you're speaking to? Yo, you don't know what you're talking about, fam. <laughs> you don't know where, what the hell you're talking about. Yo, Nardwar, yo, nobody do, does more research than Nardwar. It's creepy sometimes. All the time. Okay. 
Nardwar doing his homework is exactly what caused Denzel Curry to walk away from his interview as well, but for an entirely different reason. The interview starts out like many others, where Nardwar surprises Denzel with the information he's dug up. This includes where he went to daycare as a kid. A pink and blue daycare? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> How the f*** he know all this shit? This is crazy, yo. Yeah, that's my daycare, man. And the fact that his aunt once worked security at one of his early shows. Your aunt Betty did security? What the f kind of f you know this? <laughs> God damn! But as the video progresses, the things Nardwar mentions only continues to surprise him more and more before causing him to leave the room in shock. Chauncey. Don't you even know niggas from our block? Whoa! Yo! <laughs> Denzel Curry! Yo! 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 He does yeah. eventually come back and finishes the interview, even having some fun moments with Nardwar, but it's since gone down as one of the most iconic reactions with a top comment reading, half of this video is just Denzel being surprised. However, Denzel Curry isn't the only one with these reactions. In fact, Kendrick Lamar had a somewhat similar experience during his first interview as well. Now that might make you kind of hungry. Kenny. What about Louisiana chicken? <laughs> That's the, yeah, Louisiana chicken. That's the neighborhood, yeah. Yo, 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 um, I, I got a freaking, ah, it's been ages since I was saying I was going to freaking react to one of his older songs. But since the dude popping now, people are going to say, yeah, why the, yeah, you know, but that song is on my phone. And I, the song with him, him, T.I. and B.O.B. And, 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 and the lady in there, um. It, 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 back then, memories back then. You know, if you if you know, yeah. Type a, type a one in the comments. You know, Lamar is also Tams and Right Aid too. The Right Aid. Definitely grew up in Tams and Right. This dude right here is really doing his research though. This is this crazy. Do you know a guy called Cannon? Day. You heard that? Oh shit. That's Please explain. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. This dude said cannon. Wow. That's crazy. Wow, that's a great. This prompted a great response eight, from fans eight, great. with people saying, Kendrick looks like he's constantly trying to figure out Nardwar and just can't. If you ever apply for a job, you better pray Nardwar isn't the one doing the background check. <laughs> the way this guy can turn rappers into little kids is crazy. He brings out a side of artists nobody can. Instead of getting annoyed like many other artists, Kendrick actually found it amusing and tried to get Nardwar to give him some of the items he brought as a gift. This is, can I have this? Um, that, some of them possibly. <laughs> With Nardwar being known for having an extensive music history collection himself, he was reluctant to give them away, although he often does give artists thoughtful gifts and surprises. Sadly, the band Sonic Youth had a very different reaction during their first oh. interview with Nardwar. Oh, I like how the, the dude that's making this video is doing it. He, he's interlacing like, um, um, interviews that, that were, that were wonderful with interviews that, 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 that were horrible, you know? Now, let's see what, what this, this, this band is gonna do. ...which is easily one of his worst interviews of all time. The video begins with a lot of dry and sarcastic answers from the band, with the members being generally uncooperative. Why did you start a band in 19... When did you start the band? I didn't start the band. Oh, I'm sorry. The band started me. Who named the band, first <laughs> off? Jesus? In true Nardwar fashion, he tries to continue, but things only get worse when they steal his questions and begin mocking him. Oh no, hey, we're not, we're not finished here. We're we're damn well no, finished. Don't take the card! Don't take the card! No, you can't take the card. Don't I mean, take the card! Yo, and the thing is, yo, kudos to Nardwar for staying in character, bro. Like, the dude, some little, little, so a little bit of it, little bit of what we see on the video. It's probably genuinely him, but the character, he's staying in character even with the, the, the uncooperative interview, <laughs> um, interviewees, you know? And they're so annoying, bro. 
Nardwar then offers them a vinyl that commemorates their work as a gift. And this is when the interview really starts to go bad. I have something to show you. No, I want to show it. I want to show him. I want to show it. No. Oh my God. You fucking piece of shit. You broke it. I was a prison for you. Oh my God, yo, they, they made Nardwar curse, bro. I never heard the dude curse. <laughs> I never heard the dude curse before. Yo, you got to be some different type of a-hole or different type of scum or different type of ah, deplorable human being to make someone like Nardwar curse, bro. <laughs> yo, that's that's crazy, bro. And... The the time the time like the, the the time period and the type of artist that they are, I kind of expect it because you know, like rock band artists, they 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 they, they this um there's there a reason why people call them punks, you know, <laughs> but yeah, they that was their era of being cool, you know, yeah, it's dated, it's just it's just cringe and just freaking. Like, just being bad people, you know? <laughs> God, what did you bring? That was a present! Instead of accepting the present, the group members begin to bully Nardwar and decide to break it, all while making fun of him, which didn't sit well with a lot of fans. The members of Sonic Youth seem like the type of people who just sit there and say nothing when they hang out, but get angry when anyone calls them boring. Imagine yeah. bringing someone a present, then them being so self-absorbed that they don't only destroy it, but they bully you like children. Yeah. Thanks Sonic Youth for constantly making me question the musicians I respect the most. A decade later, Nardwar yeah. actually interviewed them again, but shockingly, it didn't go much better, largely because they weren't exactly remorseful and mostly shifted the blame, leading fans to be even more upset, especially considering what happened the first time. Why did you break this record right here? First of all, let's get this straight. I am the one member of Sonic Youth who recognized the genius of Nardwar, but the genius of this particular record. And the young men. I believe that I showed complete respect for this, but then there was another member of the band. Lee! Yeah. Mr. Lee Ronaldo. And he was the guy that molested me, wasn't he? Oh. I brought this record as a <laughs> gift for you by a young man. That, what? <laughs> I know, I know. He, he, yeah, you just said it. He <laughs> <You> just. You, <laughs> Yo. you broke it! No, don't say you. Because what you're sort of saying is... You ganged up with him. No, 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 no. All I did was I circle danced around you while you were being viciously stomped. While they were more cooperative during the second interview, they also still seemed to have a mean-spirited attitude, even pretending to break the vinyl for a second time. No, 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 we're not... Uh, no, no, we're not... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. This certainly didn't help their image with people saying, if you think you're too good or too cool for Nardwar, it's always in fact the opposite. No yeah. matter how much I would love the band slash artist prior to the Nard interview, if they disrespect the Nard, it automatically leaves me hating the artist for it. Nothing he does deserves that kind of reaction, period. He's a very genuine Ooh. and sweet guy. Ooh. Something very important about Nardwar that certain artists fail to realize can be summed up in a single comment. How you treat Nardwar determines how I look at you as a person. And most music fans agree with this. Yep, and that's true, bro. Nardwar might be weird, but yo, he's a he's a he's a genuine dude, and people treating him treating him um, badly <laughs> reflects more on of their character than how it reflects on Nardwar. You know, but yeah, guys, that's it. It was interesting. Um, if, if victims of Nardwar made it seem like they. <laughs> Most people that, um, most of the people were going to have like bad, um, backlash because of how this, the interviews went with Nardwar previously. Some of them did and rightfully so they were horrible people. But yeah, most of, uh, m most of them are good, enjoyable and wholesome people that respect, you know, the respect was there. And, um, yo, if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. You know, it's Wolf. Subscribe to the channel, man. I, I very much appreciate it. <laughs> Peace out. Itekimasu. Let's get this. Let's get it. It's Wolf. Later, people.